Marvelous Engineering. Before us starting our video, if you didn't subscribe our channel, then first click on subscribe option, then click on bell icon so that you can never mistake any update. Generative Shape Design Class 1 Surface Tools Today, in this tutorial, I am going to teach you about uh, Generative Shape Design Workbench in Katia. Here, you can draw any complex or a complicated or any generative shape in Generative Shape Design window. Once you know that there are a lot of tools in Generative Shape Design. So I am not going to study all the tools, I am going to teach you the tools which are most important in our general life or any or if you go in a company like which tools they ask first to know about it that. So let's start first open generative self design. Here you get it from safe and go to generative self design. Just write any name here. So I put J1. So I was generative one class, so I put in J1. Now, after opening the first topic, we are going to show about surface. In surface, there are a lot of tools, but I want to show all only one tool which is most important in our life. So let's start. This is one first it is skewed to use to fill the edges of any sketch. Suppose I draw a sketch. Uh, I draw a, this. Then if you click on Execute, then it will fill the edges. You can change the dimension around this, around this. According to you, you can change it. Okay. Press Control J. Now another is Revolve. There's some drawing in your drawing. So you press. Suppose we want to make a glass. Let's start. I'm making a pot. If it this, if you see this symbol, then you will note that it will start from the end point. If you see this type of symbol, then it will be. Keep in mind that if this would indicate that our point we are starting is at the end point of the previous sketch. Okay. Now join this to this. Now, click on Revolve and click on this axis. Now, let's see. See the half portion? Now, it put 45 degree. Then, from this line, Half portion is in this side and half portion is in this, in this side. So, if you put 45 degrees, then it will fill half proportion from this line to, to your forward direction. Suppose that's it. Okay. You can change it by from this. I will see. This angle, click here. This is angle 2, this is angle 1. From angle 1, it will increase decrease. From angle 2, it will increase decrease. So, if it's on choice, you can also get it from here. If you want to complete, then put 180 this and 180 this. It will make a complete. Okay. Let's move to the next topic.
that is our sphere and cylinder. For making a sphere or cylinder, just click a point. Any point, I put the point here. Now click on a sphere. Now see which angle of this angle. If you want to make a complete sphere, then just click on this. And it's time that it is. We want to not make it complete with some modification. Then just see. This is your color starting. Just click on this. And we will change this. And the maximum value of this is 90 degree. I just seen that. Yes, 90 degree. Now this is this is the median start angle. This will rotate. This is end angle, and this is the median start angle. So by an alters you will increase the degree. This is your parallel in angle. This you will remove this. Okay. And if you want to make a complete, incomplete from this, you can also make a complete. You shall have to put it 180 degree from this, and this will be in minus. And this should be in plus, both of 90 degree, review, okay, look. Now making a cylinder, just point, you need click on cylinder and click this point. And you have to put that direction. So we want, uh, in the direction, the start click. When you right click here, it will show the direction. You can also get components. Suppose I am going to make it in Z direction. Just click on Z. It will make an sphere in Z direction. You can also change the radius. If you put it as 50, then it will make an address of 50. If you length 1, then it will be the length 1. Uh, suppose I put the length 1 30 degree. That will be moving in this direction, change the length to 50 degree, then it will this, uh, this direction. We will extend it and both are the length L30, then this side will also 30 from this point, the length is 30, then this will also 30. If not click on this, then you can put the post length for your marker. So from this point, it should be of 53 degree. So do that 99 degree and if you click on mirror extend and it will be part with first length point. Any length if you part with this length then this go to this side. Okay. See the what uh, cylinder. Now next stage offset. We very well known in party channel. Offset is used to uh open that track with some modification. If you click on this, this is offset. This, and you can increase the length and diameter. Yellow. See the word offset. Suppose I want to make offset of 25 mm, then it will make um, this direction plus this. Um, forward direction, so to the 25 mm. If you want both the side then just click on this object again and click on both sides. Click on look. Here 25 mm this, here 25 mm this. So this is our button. This is our offset. Now let's move to the next block.
that is sleep. It is just just like a rib. In a rib, we make a circle. Uh, we make a path. Suppose our point we move in this direction. Now, this is our path, and now we make a profile. So right click here. So the center curve. Right. Just click on this line. Choose a plane. That's very normal to curve. Create a point and choose this one. Review. Okay. Okay. Click here. And if I want to draw our uh, edge in this, okay. Okay. Now, this is our profile and this is our form. Okay. Then just click on sweep option. Choose your profile. This is our profile. And this is our guide curve. Of where to make. Click on this. Click preview. Click OK. One thing not in that. When you will use sweep, then it will make hollow. Look, this is hollow. When you will use sweep, then it will make a uh, make a make a make a make a fill in rip it will make a fill in rock in sweep it, it can make a uh, it can make a uh, uh, hole. I repeat if you if you use rip option then it will make a fill but when you sweep then it will make hollow just to hollow so additive should be used to inputting this is a hollow so it will not inputting so you should first you should do in your home first to dry a, 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 a this type of path and a, and a curve profile with fill using rib option then use additive sub option to inputting it will burn so i am skipping this you should do it at home it is used to inputting here it is already inputting so it will not burn so you should do it at your home Another one is fill. It is used to fill. Suppose this is our our drawing, and if you want to fill this two more, then just click on fill. Then just click on this surface. It will not work. Review. I said it will not work. With this all of other times we have click on all this point. The it is burn. Yes. I am showing a bit another image. Let's see this. Just click on fill and select all the edges. I selected all the edges? No, this is less. Only two selected. Click on fill. This edges should be fill is now this and this. What happens? Click on fill this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Okay, we have selected the whole curve. I click on preview, click on see if it's fill. Okay, I'm showing with another example. First, draw a rectangle. Anything you can draw, uh, suppose I draw a uh, in childhood, we you are used to make a mountain like this, and you want to fill. Then, if you click on this is good. Then to fill the edges only. Let's see. And if you click on fill, then to fill all the parts. Yes. So this is our fill. We used to fill your drawing. The drawing is this. It is to fill.
Now another one is multi section surface. Just just copy version of your uh, multi section solid. In it you have to also make two or three plane in different different plane. Suppose I make a circle here. Now this plane I make. Suppose I make a circle here. Okay. Sorry. Not take another plane. Okay, this plane and choose a plane with a distance of 50 mm and make a new plane. Make a new suppose I want to join a circle again. Ellipse because if it is with the correct angle, then we have to keep it 4 point. Okay, now you want to join these two. Then we multi system solid here. Another is multi system surface. Click on this, click on this. Take the closing point, section is same. Click on the view, click out. And if you want to fill this, then just click here, fill, and click on this. Review. So, you have seen multi system solid. Now, another one is plane. It is used. To join the two drawing, the two profile. Suppose you make a profile here. Okay, and I'm I'm going to fill it with one km. Now choose this plane again and try another with some downward direction. We so just start it with here. Okay. It will not move, but this will be done with this plane. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's. Okay, now we want to join this to surface. Then what we do that? We click on plane, click on this surface, and click on this. Choose your direction in same. Okay, click on do. Click on. This is our plane. Wish to join two tools to profile and swing again. Click on blend. Okay. And this this surface will join with this surface and see your point. This will in this direction, this direction, this, this, and downward. So if you see all are the same, then just simply click on preview and off. This is our surface tools. You should try to do some plastic in your form. And if there's any problem, then comment me or email me. Okay. Oh.